Why am I making this documentary? Partly because I'm selfish, because I want to get better, and partly because I know that having anxiety is probably one of the most lonely, most isolating things to have because you are your own worst enemy and you live inside your head. And I know there are thousands of people out there who suffer just like me. And we need to talk. And that's half the healing. We need to talk. I'm Nadia Hussain, and I've been living with extreme anxiety for as long as I can remember. I've decided it's time to seek help. What, what's happening now? Tell me what's going through your mind. I don't like that feeling. I'll undergo a course of therapy, letting cameras record my progress. So you would feel as if your life was in danger. It's that same feeling. Yeah. In the hope of breaking down the stigma surrounding this crippling condition. It's so really tense. My mouth feels really tense. Okay, well. It's taking all of my strength to keep my head up. With five million people in the UK diagnosed with anxiety disorders, it seems anxiety is on the rise. Is there a pressure yeah. to be perfect? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to explore how other sufferers are coping. I do still get anxiety attacks and it's... Even whilst being on the pills. Even whilst on them, yeah. And ask what can be done to help me and millions of others like me get better. It's got to a point in my life where that's all I am now. I'm just the panic, I'm just the anxiety. And I don't want to be that anymore. Cold sweats, but okay. So what I, what I would say to you is, a, you're going to have to expect that your, the anxiety is going to manifest. But the difference is, as you've been learning, I've today, been looking online at what else is out there for anxiety sufferers. Oh God, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, but you're doing is great. I mean, it's definitely. I've come away from the NHS website a little bit, and there's lots of stuff online. These self-help groups and. There's this thing I've come across run by this guy called Barry, and it's like this community uh, of people who, like a live stream thing where you can go off and you could do something and, and like kind of push yourself, but you've, all, but you've always constantly got a community of people who, um, who talk to you and encourage you. Oh, see, I'm getting like flashes of panic. Oh, I'm scared though. I don't know where to go, what to do. You're actually okay. You didn't die, you didn't pass out. None of those horrible things you thought would happen, happened. And you're proving that to yourself right now by standing there in the shop. Barry, a former anxiety sufferer, is one of a number of people running online self-help groups, offering an alternative to NHS therapy for a price. Are you trained in any way? All of the, everything I write and everything comes from my own personal experience. Right. So it's very much about my personal experience of how I overcame my anxiety. And then I'm connecting people with other people who are using that same approach, trying to build up this peer-to-peer -peer environment where people with anxiety can connect with each other, working together and yeah. supporting and inspiring each other. I mean, how many subscribers, how big is your community? We have about a quarter of a million people who we communicate to over social media and through our emails. And it's growing all the time. As, is, as I said earlier, anxiety is this problem and people are becoming more aware of it. And so they're searching out solutions online. I mean, I know that there's a struggle. It's not that easy to get access to CBT. But why do you think people are, why do you think people are turning to this form of therapy, I suppose? There's still the stigma of going to a therapist and having that help. People are afraid of doing that. And there's also some people are afraid to talk to their doctor about it even. So going online, doing some research, finding these communities is a great way or great introduction for people into that world. You can absolutely Whilst I'm unsure if online communities like this are as beneficial as NHS therapy, what is valuable is that they encourage people to open up and realise that they are not alone. I always talk about how important it is to share and to talk, and that is part of the healing. I hope that people see that actually it's not that scary. And, you know, who knows, even if just one person picks up the phone to their GP and says, do you know what, I'm going to call my GP, because if average Nadia can do that, then so can I.